Welcome to this year's Northeast Christian Conference Pre-K and Kindergarten class. We're so happy to have you. In this class, we'll have Hannah and Tappy, our friend Abraham, and I'm Phoebe. We're sad we can't meet in person, but we hope you enjoy these video lessons. We're going to be learning about King David in the Bible, and we're going to be learning about Jesus, and we're going to have a lot of singing and crafts. I hope you guys got your craft package. In each class, we'll start off with some singing, then we'll have a story, and then we'll do crafts. Are you ready? Well, let's start off with some singing. Let's start by singing, Oh, How I Love Jesus. Let's sing, Jesus Loves the Little Ones. Next, let's sing Jesus in the Morning. do all things. story is about David as a young shepherd boy. So the story starts when prophet Samuel was very sad that God didn't want King Saul as the king. Prophet? Tappy, what's a prophet? That's a great question, Phoebe. A prophet is someone who brings God's word to the people. That's right. God then told the prophet Samuel his plan for the future. He told Samuel, get some olive oil and go to Bethlehem to a man named Jesse. 
because I have chosen one of his sons to be king. So Samuel went to Jesse's house and Samuel saw Jesse's son, Eliab. He was the oldest son. Samuel said, this man standing must be the one God has chosen. Eliab was a big man. But the Lord said, don't pay attention to how tall and how handsome he is. I have rejected him because I do not judge as people judge. Other people look at the outward appearance, but I look at the heart. One by one, Jesse brought seven sons to Samuel. But Samuel said to him, Nope, the Lord hasn't chosen any one of these. So the prophet Samuel asked Jesse, Do you have any more sons? So Jesse the dad said, There is the youngest son, David, but he's out taking care of the sheep. But Samuel the prophet said, tell him to come here. Do you see David out in the pasture taking care of all those sheep? He's letting them eat grass and drink water and he's watching over them. When Samuel saw David, the Lord told Samuel, yes, this is the one. Anoint him to be king. Samuel took the olive oil and anointed David in front of his brothers. Do you see Samuel pouring the oil on David's head? That shows that God chose David to be king. Sometime after David was anointed, the Philistines, who were the enemy, gathered for battle against the Israelites. Oh, wow! Those Philistines look so strong. I wonder who that giant is. Do you see him with the big spear and that big sword? I wonder who that could be. If you guessed Goliath, you were right. Goliath was a giant Philistine, an enemy of the Israelites. And he was the strongest Philistine. I wonder what they're gonna do. The giant Goliath shouted at the Israelites, choose one of your men to fight me. If he wins and kills me, we will be your slaves. But if I win and kill him, you will be our slaves. I dare you to pick someone to fight me. Saul and his men were so scared. David was back at his home in Bethlehem taking care of his father's sheep. Even though David was a shepherd, he was brave and strong. Did you know that he had to protect the sheep against lions and bears and all sorts of dangers? His three oldest brothers were off in the Philistine battle. One day, Jesse said to David, Take this food to your brothers in the camp and see how they're doing. So David went to the camp. He brought the food and he, he met his brothers. As he was talking with them, Goliath came forward and challenged the Israelites to fight. When the Israelites saw Goliath, they ran away because they were so scared. David was taken to King Saul and said, Your Majesty, no one should be afraid of this Philistine named Goliath. I will go and fight him. But Saul said, how can you fight him? You're just a boy and Goliath has been a soldier all his life. David said to King Saul, I have killed lions and bears who attacked my father's sheep and I'm gonna do the same to Goliath. The Lord will save me from Goliath. So King Saul told David, go and the Lord be with you. King Saul gave David all of his armor, but when David tried it on, he said, I can't fight with all this. I'm not used to it. Do you see all that heavy armor that King Saul gave to David? 
So instead of all of that heavy armor, David took his shepherd stick and he picked up five smooth stones from the stream and put them in his bag. With his sling ready, he went out to meet Goliath. When Goliath started walking toward David, he started making fun of him because look, David was so small compared to giant Goliath. What do you think is gonna happen? Goliath started saying some bad things about God, but David answered him and said, you are coming against me with sword, spear, and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord. Today, the Lord will put you in my power and I will defeat you. So Goliath started walking towards David, but David reached into his bag took out a stone, put it in his sling, and threw it at Goliath. And it hit Goliath's head, and Goliath fell down. When the Philistines saw that Goliath, their hero, was dead, they all ran away. David, the young shepherd boy, defeated Goliath because God was with him and he returned triumphant as a hero. Now we're gonna sing Only a Boy Named David. Only a boy named David, only a little sling. Only a boy named David, but he can pray and sing. Only a boy named David, only a rippling breath. Only a boy named David, and five little songs he took. One little stone went into a sling, and the sling went round and round. And one little stone went into the sling, and the sling went round and round. And round and round and round and round and round and round and round. And one little stone went up in the air. Do you remember what David looked like when Samuel went to his house to find the king? Yeah, he was little and smaller than all his other brothers, and he was a little shepherd boy. But that doesn't seem like someone that would be chosen as a king. That may be true, but God wasn't looking at how big or strong someone was on the outside. He was looking for someone who loves God with all his heart. And that was David. He was a man after God's heart. That means he cared about what God cared about. Even though you might not be big or strong, you can have a heart that is full of love for God too, just like David. David's brothers and his oldest brothers, Eliab, were big and strong, and David was small. But we know that God doesn't look at the outside, but he looks at the heart. So let's sing a song about that. Hey Phoebe, what was your favorite part in today's story? My favorite part was when David fought the giant Goliath and killed him with his sling and stone. Wow, Goliath was so big and scary, but how come David wasn't afraid of him? Because even when David was a shepherd boy, he trusted God every day to protect him and his sheep from lions bears, storms, and thieves. So even when David fought the giant Goliath, David knew that he could trust God with anything. Nothing is too hard for God. So David was a shepherd boy. What did he do? Well, he took care of the sheep. 
he brought them grass to eat, and he protected them when they were in danger. Like when there were lions and bears. Oh my! He cared so much about his sheep, so much that he would do anything for them. Wait, 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 wait! Jesus is the same. He is our shepherd, so he takes care of us. He feeds us and he protects us every day. Wow! 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 Jesus is such a good shepherd. Let's sing, "The Lord is my shepherd." Wow, we learned how Jesus was our good shepherd. Let's tell him how special that is by praying to God. Can you show me your prayer hands? Very nice. Abraham's gonna show you how to follow along. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for being my shepherd. Thank you for being my shepherd. Thank you for caring for me. Thank you for caring for me. Please help me love you with my whole heart. Please help me love you with my whole heart. In Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 All right, time for some crafts. Today, our lesson was about how David was a good shepherd, and Jesus. Is our good shepherd. So we're going to make the sheep. The sheep says on the little legs, it says, We are his sheep. And on the back side, there's a Bible verse. It says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. And it's from John 10 14. So what you'll need for this craft is You'll need this bag, which you should have gotten, and this bag of cotton balls. And then you'll also need glue or a glue stick, okay? So, what I want you to do is open up this bag and take out this paper plate. This is gonna be the body of the sheep, okay? Now, I want you to find this piece of paper that has the Bible verse on it, okay? And I want you to glue it onto the back of the plate, not the front, but on the back, okay? So then you'll glue it on like this. Once that is glued, turn it around, okay? Now, you see all of this, this bag of cotton balls? I want you to glue these onto the front of the plate. So then it becomes the sheep's um, fur, like this, okay? Once you have all of these cotton balls glued onto the front, you should get this little black face of the sheep and glue it onto the cotton balls. So then it becomes like this, okay? Then, you see some googly eyes at the bottom of the bag? Take those googly eyes and then glue them onto the face of the sheep so then the sheep has some eyes, okay? And then, at the very end, you have some clothes pins. And remember how I showed you? It says, 
we are his sheep, right? So you can write that or have your mom and dad help you on the legs and then you take these clothespins and then you stick, you clip it on to the bottom of the plate. So then the sheep has legs, okay? So that's our first craft. Our second craft for this lesson is a coloring page. So you should have gotten this piece of paper. It says, the Lord looks at the heart from 1 Samuel 16, 7. Do you remember in this lesson, we talked about how God looked at David's heart and David was a man after God's heart? So you should have gotten this bag and you'll also need glue or a glue stick, okay? In this bag, there are some googly eyes, big googly eyes. So I want you to take those out and let's look at the paper. It says, the Lord looks. How do you look? With your eyes, right? So take these googly eyes and glue them over the letters O. You should have two of them, okay? And then in your bag, there are also some hearts. And next to the word heart, you can glue these hearts or you can put them on the letters, okay? And then after that, color the rest of the page, okay? Our last craft is a craft kit that you should have gotten. There is a cutout of Jesus. There are five sheep. There is a piece of green that has a Bible verse on it. There's a wooden um, plaque that says, the, Jesus is my shepherd. And then there's a green um, cutout, okay? So what I want you to do is take that green cutout and stick the Jesus in the biggest cutout and then put the little sheep, okay? Then there's one sheep that has a hand on it, do you see? And on the back, there's a piece of uh, wax paper that you can peel off and that you will stick onto Jesus's hand. And then there's um, the verse that you stick in on the front with the grass. And then also there's the the stick that says Jesus is my shepherd and you stick that into the cutout, okay? There are pictures if you need help and you can also ask your mom and dad if you have help too. After you have finished all three crafts, have your mom and dad take pictures of them and send them to us. We can't wait to see what you've created. Thanks for joining us for our class today. We'll see you in the next class.